Mr. President, do you have a minute? Yeah. What is it, Mr. Secretary? I have this friend. He's quite a guy. He's in a bit of a bind and he needs advice. How can I help you? Not me, this friend. It's a friend. All right. He's in the public eye. Well, did something wrong and he paid the price, an expensive price. Made a mistake in his personal life and now it's bleeding over into the professional. His enemies are set to strike with news better suited to a church confessional. But what they think they know isn't what happened and they know I know. They won't stop until the world turns upside down. So this friend, yep, did he break the law? No, sir. What he did was private and no one saw, no one saw, no one saw. And your friend should just move on. Don't respond, stay quiet until these men are gone. But he can't just not respond. These men will whisper again and again until his reputation's in the mud. These men, these envious venomous men, won't let go of the scent till they taste blood. But do they need to know? If he's really done nothing wrong, it doesn't matter if, if the world, world turns upside down. Calm down. Damned if I do and if I don't, but I won't be accused of financial impropriety. I don't see how they can take away what I say. If I say it first, they can make it worse with their rank false piety. People will make fun of this, but I can get in front of this. I can take the pain and shame, but I will clear my name. I will show them all in the end. In your friend. Yeah, I mean, my friend, he's come too far for them to drag him through the dirt. Well, I don't know your friend, but I know you're my friend. Alexander, be careful who you hurt, who you hurt, who you hurt. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, you hurt. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, you hurt. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, you hurt. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it.